Okay, so you're looking to install the latest version of Kodi onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube or Android TV. What's the best, easiest and safest way to do that? Now the entire process just takes a couple of minutes. Anybody can do it just by following the steps in this video. Now, if you didn't know, Kodi is an open source media player, very, very popular. You can get it directly from the Google Play Store. As you can see, it's had more than 50 million downloads. It supports all of your favorite video formats, audio formats, and you can also install add-ons to extend the functionality. These add-ons will give you access to movies, TV shows, sports, lots of different things. And of course, there's third-party add-ons available as well. Now to start the process on your Amazon device is just head over to the search icon where it says find. Let's click on that. Go down into where it says search. Click on that again. And I'm now going to type in the word downloader. Here we are. I can now click on that. Click on that again and click on that one more time to begin the installation. And this application is a great application. It's a built-in browser. It allows you to download applications from other sources and install them. And let's click on got it. Now, before we open this application, we need to now enable that change. So if I now press the home key, let's now go to the right and where we have the settings cogwheel, let's click on that. I'm now going to click on MyFi TV. Let's click on that again. Now here you want to click on developer options. Now, if you have a brand new Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube and you don't see this developer options menu, what you want to do is click on about. And here where you see your device type, either a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, just press the select button here seven times. So one, two, three, four. And you can see on mine, it says I'm already a developer. On your device, if it's the first time you've done this, when you get to the seventh click, you will get the message that you're now a developer, which means you can now press back and you will then see the developer options. So you can now click on this and where it says install unknown apps. Now, if you have a slightly older Fire Stick, you may just see an option here, which is set to off. You want to change the option to on, which again means that you can now install applications from third party or unknown sources. But as this is a newer device, I need to click on this first and we can now see my downloaded applications in here. I can now click on that. We can see that now it changes to on and this now means that I can now use Downloader to download and install any application that I like. So now that we've made that change, I can now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader for the first time. Let's click on that. I can now click on allow. Click on OK. Now where we have the, the box here where you can type something in, if I click in that, this is where you'd now type in an address like google.com or something else but you can also type in codes, which are like short codes to get to certain pages. Now I've created a custom code, which will always take you to the latest version of the Kodi application. Right now, the latest version is Kodi 20.2, which is Kodi Nexus. But anytime in the future, if there's a new release, this code will always take you to the latest version. And that code is just 120876. Let's type that in, 120876. Seven six. I can now click on go. This will now take you to my website where we can now see the step-by-step -step instructions if you want to read the steps and also that dynamic link taking you to the latest version. Here we can see some general information about the application. You can see it works on Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, mobiles, Raspberry Pi, Fire Sticks, Android TVs, Android boxes, Linux distributions. It really is a superb cross-platform media player. Here we can see those step-by-step -step instructions, how to enable those developer options, and it's all of that. And we now have access to this dynamic link. So I can click on that, give that a second. I can then scroll down and let's click on this green download button. And this should then automatically begin the download of the latest version of this application directly to your device. Okay, that's now done. I can now click on install. Give that a second. I can now click on done. We can now click on delete to delete the installation file so we can reclaim that space. Let's click on delete and delete again. 
That's now all done. I can now press the home key. Let's go over to my app library. Let's click on that. And any application that you install on your Amazon devices will always appear at the bottom of this list. Here we can see that here. Let's open that up. We can see Kodi Nexus loading for the first time. Give that a second. And we are straight in the application. And this is the latest version of the Kodi Media Player. Now, if you do want to install add-ons, obviously you can go into the list here. You can find the popular ones. You can find the ones which have been recently updated. All of that can be accessed through here. If you're looking for more third-party add-ons, I will leave a link in the video description if you want to read about those and how you can install those onto your device. The only thing I would say that if you are going to be using more third-party unofficial add-ons, then I would personally recommend using a VPN just so you can protect your privacy. You can ensure that nobody can track or monitor your online activities and really just keep your device safe. Right now, there is a very special offer from IPVanish, who I do personally recommend. You can get a huge discount where you get that total protection for unlimited devices. So it doesn't matter if you have a few Fire Sticks or 10 Android TVs or three laptops, all of your devices can be protected with a single license. You can then change your IP address. You can access geo-locked content and really just protect your privacy whilst using all of your devices. To get all of that with really fast speeds, at just over three dollars a month i do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks